Hello and welcome back to Bad Review. Today we are looking at first issue special number four featuring Lady Cop. That's right, Lady Cop. A cop can be a lady. So uh, the book opens with a woman watching her two roommates get strangled to death while she hides under a bed. After being comforted by a very mannish uh, lady cop, she is suggested uh, to enroll in the police academy and become a lady cop, which of course she does. And that's up to page three now. Now this uh, the little story is written by Robert Kaniger, I think that's how it's pronounced, with art by uh, John Rosenberg and Vince Coletta. Uh, the cover is actually really nice. I think very dynamic, has a lot going on. Nah, that scene is like a whole page at best. It doesn't really have anything to do with the overall plot. Now, we've got the setup that she saw her friends murdered and it, she was they were killed by somebody who leaves Ace of Spades cards and has these real distinctive boots. But just ignore that because we'll never see that again in the rest of the book except the very, very end. And it's not a resolved plot line. Now remember, this book was supposed to introduce new characters that might get their own book or research old characters. Um, but the story here is called Poisoned Love. And as far as I know, this is the only lady cop story. But uh, she seems to fight a lot of like skeevy, weird street crime by herself in a skirt. So she rescues some underage girl, maybe a prostitute kind of unclear from these uh 1970s toughs uh who really enjoy one who whom wears a, a really ugly purple vest and then she beats the crap out of two of them using her girl kung fu and judo that they learned in police academy and then for some reason she doesn't need to handcuff them she doesn't even have a gun she just is some lady in a miniskirt with a badge. Like, that's it. It's it's pretty weak. Then she buys some uh, poor black kid an ice cream cone. Foils a robbery of a guy with a knife. Uh, by beating the crap out of him. Then giving CPR to the stereotypical Latin uh, convenience store owner. This whole thing is like a black exploitation movie without the... Uh, main character showing up then she goes to the beach with her boyfriend and they do some making out and then she meets some girl on a pier who's gonna jump in because her boyfriend got a vd and she might have a vd and we look, get a little lesson on sexually transmitted diseases it's it's riveting i tell you here's some dialogue from lady cop and this is on page 11 vd's deceptive girls may not have symptoms but it's a secret destroyer poisoning you like an underground river. It can cause blindness, insanity, death, if not arrested in time. Wow, dramatic much? So uh, the girl asks, "What you know? What do I do?" And she says, "Go to your family doctor immediately, or the board of health VD stations. They'll give you tests to see if you have it. They can cure you with antibiotics." Well, these days that'd be a little different with those uh, antibiotic-resistant strains, especially of gonorrhea. But don't think about that. Psh, nothing to see here. It may not be the syphilis uh, the, that'll drive you insane. But there's some more bad analogies, and then she takes the girl to see the girl's father, and he goes to punch her because she's a dirty whore. It's not explicitly said. It says, uh... Um, your mother was a saint, and then he takes a swing at her, but Lady Cop gets in the way and takes a right hook to the face. And then is still standing, like this, she's a tank, what can I say? Sure, she's like five foot five and, uh, 80 pounds or whatever, but, yeah, she took a right hook to the face, still standing, just knocked her hat back a little bit. And then the guy just says, Mia culpa a couple times, and I don't care. And then some other guy shows up that was friends with the guys she arrested earlier. And he's the one with the chain on the cover. 
And within two panels, he's in the water and she's saving him. And that's the whole issue. That's the whole story. Pretty weak, in my opinion. Uh, it was... It was an interesting concept. It could have been like a girl version of TJ Hooker, if TJ Hooker had been around. But overall, I would say that it, it was just a rambling mess that really went nowhere. It wasn't even a good origin story. Like, alright, she's a lady cop. Is she investigating anything? No, it's a bunch of little street scenes on her beat. It's a little slice of life stories. Vignettes, but poorly done. So yeah, I would say this one's pretty wretched issue. Um... The concept of, you know, like, the the life of a female cop could have been interesting in 75 when female police officers were, especially beat officers, were a lot more rare. But she doesn't even have a gun. That's weird. The kind of beat cop, even in the 70s, didn't have a gun, especially in the 70s New York City. Really? Are you kidding me? Especially in the sketchy neighborhoods she's in. So I don't really understand that. And that, I found that very confusing and a little frustrating. So, yeah, this could have been a much better story if it was uh, a little more focused on, like, busting up a drug ring or something like that. Uh, something that had a, a full issue plot to it that this one did not have and really needed. So, yeah, from a standpoint of modern eye, it, it's definitely a terrible story. And the premise is archaic, but for its time, I can see what they were going for. I just think they failed at it. Um, if they want to revitalize Lady Cop, it could be an interesting story about like a female police officer, you know, busting up gangs or something or fighting crime, you know, like a, a real cops of Broward County sort of thing. And, and it could be cool. It could have some cool adventures. Uh, there's a lot of dangerous stuff going on in the world that it could kind of touch on. But it, this one didn't do any of that. It just had a bunch of stereotypical minority characters and poor people. And she gets in random fights with random street toughs that don't make a lot of sense. And the weird VD thing, I don't really know where that came from. So yeah, I, I don't really get the point of this issue. Uh, I don't think they knew what to do with it either. But it could have been something a lot more interesting and probably pretty progressive if they would taken it a little bit more seriously and made the character a little bit more of an actual hero as opposed to somebody that just wanders aimlessly into stuff and is like, oh, this is happening. What's going on here? No, she's not portrayed as a fully capable, fleshed-out character She's just somebody that happens to be there and knows some crappy martial arts and fights idiots. So, yeah, I would definitely say that as a relic of the past, it's interesting, but beyond that, I didn't see much point in it. So, unfortunately for First Issue Special, this is not their best issue, but I think they really could revitalize this and maybe make it into like a Cagney and Lacey kind of thing uh, or an a Adam-12 with a couple of lady cops that are, you know, teamed up together that got to go fight some crime. That could be cool. You know, maybe put them on Gotham PD or something. Uh, if they want to keep it grounded, they could put it in L.A. or f somewhere in Florida. There's always weird crap going on in Florida. Just type in Florida Man and you'll get tons of cool story ideas for a lady cop team up. So, yeah, I don't know. Um, concept... It could have been cool, very poorly executed. But that'll do it for this one. As always, thanks for listening and supporting the channel. Uh, be sure and uh, watch some of our other episodes. And next time, we'll be looking at First Issue Special number 5. We're going to go through all 13 issues. But until then, that'll do it. Thanks for listening.